So as I said before, this is part two, although I might upload this first. This is regarding um, atheism and naturalism, uh, which are pretty synonymous today. I mean, when you're talking about atheism, you know, you're not talking about somebody who this doesn't believe in, you know, like, you know, oh, they don't believe in what the West would call gods, but they believe in karma and uh, karma and reincarnation and ghosts and stuff like that, right? So it's basically the same thing today. But it's so amazing that these naturalists, these materialists, um, because the naturalist, that's just another word for materialist. It's, um, I guess it's nicer sounding. Um, what it's, it, it, I guess they're in dire need of philosophy 101. Um, the teleological argument, the ontological argument, and the, um, oh, I forgot the, the teleological, ontological, and yeah, I always think it. Um, all those have basically been proven with science within the last uh, 15 years. I mean, the WMAP satellite pretty much did it. Now, this is the shocking thing, but that's probably too much for a start. Let me let me back up. That's going to sound way too extreme to start out with. To accept um, naturalism or materialism, right? There is the only, only the physical world. This would naturally entitle. This would logically conclude that A, um, There is no free will. Everything is predetermined or inevitable, basically. From the moment of the Big Bang, everything is, uh, everything is, uh, everything is set. There's no you, your conscience, consciousness is just a trick of your nervous system. And also there's nothing identifiably you. You're just a concoction of hormones, um, neuro, uh, and, and firing neurons. I mean, there's there's no soul. I mean, there is even religions that believe the soul dies at death. Um, <coughs> in fact, there used to be a, uh, quite a few. Um, so, in fact, a whole sect of Judaism, a few sects of Judaism, that believed and accepted that that the soul died with the body, that the the body and the soul couldn't exist. Which is the, the orthodox belief, too. I mean, the uh, spirit or the noose or the pneuma or whatever the hell they want to call it. Um, and the body make up one soul, make up the person. Um, you're dead without one. You have to have both um, to be alive. The um, That's why... I, you have an emphasis on a resurrection, right? Um, but <clears throat> I don't think these people understand what it 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 means to be materialist. Um, <clears throat> when you have all those guys like Kurtzwell and um, the guys that Joe Rogan talks about and all this kind of stuff about, uh, it it looks like we're designed, you know, and were probably some kids from another dimension, you know, science experiment, or were living in the matrix. That's the teleological argument 
basically proven by by um, both astronomers and uh, those that deal at the level of quarks physicists at that level I can't tell you how many people that went to my parish that worked at Fermi lab with PhDs on that nuclear reactor which was the biggest running one and highest functioning one until they built CERN and, and flipped that on less than 10 years ago um, oh yeah the ontological theological cosmological right cosmology I mean the atheists their argument people have the shortest memory it's ridiculous the atheists for hundreds of years were arguing the universe was infinite because if there was a prime cause if this big bang which was proposed by a priest and the atheist argued vehemently against the big bang um and the Big Bang really didn't become an issue for Christians, for these the American types of evangelicals, until the last 20 years. They're bullshit. Um, when the atheists finally got on board with the Big Bang. Up until about year 2000, atheists were still arguing that the universe was eternal. That was one of their linchpins. Because if you said the universe had a start, if there was the Big Bang, that would be one of the three proofs of a god of at least a deistic god right and it is coming ex nihilo um, which shouldn't happen the um, and also the fact that it's built into us we are a religious ape it, plus, okay, there's a few things. Um, the Roman Catholic Church was never creationist. Creationism is a heresy that's only about 120 years old. Catholic, Roman Catholic Church actually accepts evolution. The Orthodox Church, of course, is silent on it because we don't care. It's We only concern ourselves with what's in the seventh, seven ecumenical councils, but creationism is a heresy. Um evolution seems to be scientifically true so we have to accept that yet there's nothing in our liturgy or creeds that speaks about it we don't we don't get involved like that as much as the roman catholics do but um i'd be interested in knowing how much uh you know about your catholic faith not debating but um just talk just talking to you Again, you have to understand, it's against our religion to proselytize. Um, and we don't have the Western concepts of heaven or hell. And uh, our view of God is also radically different. All right, peace to you. And I hope you're doing well this Christmas season. Get back to me, comment on these videos. We could talk over Google Hangout or something. Peace.